Houston, I have a problem. Well, I'm supposed to vlog my whole way to meet my friend, and then I discovered I haven't actually got any uh, SD card in my bag, yeah, none at all. So, uh, <laughs> so I'm totally buggered. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have to pop into the shop and get a memory card. Of course, wish me luck. <laughs> yeah, finally! Oh my god! Oh, how are you? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, sorry about my lateness. That's okay. Let me flip the camera around. Right. So I can see myself. What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. <laughs> hey! Hi. Finally, we're together again! Yeah! God, it's been a while. Sorry about this. That's okay. It's Everyone. I know, like how professional I am, you know, like I left home without my memory cards, none at all. So I have to like Google, like where where can I find a good memory card? Because I don't want to waste money. If I'm buying one, I might as well buy a good one. Yeah. So I don't want to get a crappy one you're going to chuck away afterwards. So, you know, I Googled around that like, the only one they have is park cameras right down there, which they hooked me up with a nice, sweet one. Good. Perfect. If you're ever in London, remember to check them out. Park cameras. Park. 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 Yeah, park. park yeah, park cameras. cameras. Okay. Yeah, yeah. They, they're just, um, yeah, on. Uh, I'll put the link down below. <laughs> I can't remember the exact address. <laughs> Not far from New Oxford Street, so uh, yeah, you can come on Tottenham Court Road, two minutes more. Well, at least you have an emergency one now, too. I have an emergency <laughs> one, which works. Okay, right. Uh, where shall we go? Um, uh, let's, let's, let's wander around. Let, let's get lost in London. Yeah, <laughs> yeah cool. Right, <laughs> so you guys need to meet it. <laughs> Seriously, those are ooh, perfect coffees. Really lovely coffee. And uh, Charlie's a coffee person. I'm a coffee person. I think that, per that those are mm, really top class coffee. And they have really good barista, gentleman's barista, is it? Gentleman baristas, yeah. Yeah, gentleman's yeah. baristas. It's the perfect place. If you want to check, we're going to put the link down in the description so you can check them out and get a big shout out to them because they are perfect, perfect. So. This is our vlog. We haven't seen each other for a while, and then, uh, so it's really lovely to see Charlie back here. Oh, so cool! So, and uh, before we meet, and uh, I actually uh, did ask a few questions of our lovely audience. Mm -hmm. uh, see if you got any question to ask Charlie. I did you. <laughs> I'm very cheeky. See, like, I, I have a, I have five. I'm narrowed down to five questions. Go. Everybody wants to ask oh, Charlie so about exciting. something. Are you ready for that? Are you ready? I think so. Right, okay. Right. You guys ready, yeah? <laughs> Brace for impact, guys. Okay. F only five questions, seriously. I cannot ask every single one of them. I, this will be three hours long otherwise. I know. Okay. Um, first question. I, I think you kind of mentioned it before, but are you English? <laughs> <laughs> um, technically, yes. My grandma is German. Um, like full German and I was actually born and registered in a German hospital as a German so I had a German passport as a child but also an English one. Guten Tag. Um, guten Tag. <laughs> um, I can speak a little bit, I should probably be able to speak more but it's that's one of my resolutions this year actually is to learn German properly. Um, it's just difficult. I have cousins that are older than me so they always practice their English on me and I was right. too shy to be like, can I speak German now? You're shy, you're not shy. I was. As a, as a kid, very very shy. Okay, right. Okay. Second question is a little bit more about your work. So, how did you get into modeling? 
I fell into it quite literally. Quite literally. Um, I had got a leg injury in 2011. Uh, no, 2012, beginning of 2012, and uh, so I tore a ligament in my leg. Oh no! I, really? I was yeah, I was um, Ouch. wanting to join the army originally, and <gasps> that imagine meant pretty lady in uniform. <laughs> I was going to be an officer. Yeah. That wow. Was Sandhurst, but the ligament meant the ligament injury meant that I couldn't join the army at all. I couldn't join any military service. So if World War Three breaks out. <laughs> Just so it's on record, absolutely not, because you ruined my dream. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not having. Um, Why? Yeah, and then I was a plus mo plus size model originally because I put on quite a lot of weight because of you can move. But yeah, because yeah. I couldn't move and I was comfy eating, obviously. Um, and yeah, and then it was Dan actually. I got a care job when I went, left, left uni, and Dan was like, "Why have you quit modelling?" And I was like, "Oh well, I don't really think I could do it." So he told me to get an agent. I did, and then. I kind of found acting through that as well, so I just oh. kind of series of happy coincidences. Okay, okay. Uh, right. So this third question is kind of leading to because you know you mentioned about act acting, mm -hmm. and uh, so the question is, uh, I heard that you were an actor, and do you think it helps in modelling? Yes, is the short answer. If I explain a little bit, it just I think as an actor you're a little bit more willing to put a bit more character behind it. I'm not yeah. saying models don't, because actually there's some models who emote wonderfully, but often it doesn't translate the same way to film and to acting yeah, as, it, yeah. as it does to modeling. I, I guess you know, as a photographer, you know, sometimes shoot models, you know, in, in, a, in a shoot, you know, it's the, if the uh, art director actually wants a specific theme, for instance, and the photographer have the direct model saying, okay, I want it to be a little bit moody, a little bit mm. darker, that will translate into you and you somehow you have to act it through, is that right? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. And there's quite a lot of models are quite good at that but then if you then try to get them to act it's not quite the same because right. even though you say like oh I'd like you to look moody and they playing they're playing a moody character it's it's not the same because they're used to looking like pristine and perfect and yeah. posing in a certain way and holding it there so when you then say oh you're moody you know you need to be like kind of hunched over and blah 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 like models sometimes not all of them but sometimes then struggle with the <laughs> with the kind of characterization in that way so but yeah i do think that they've both interlinked and helped each other <laughs> i actually got into acting because of modeling oh sorry okay. no, that's okay <laughs> so um so people okay. saw some photos and said oh you emote really well have you tried acting and i was like no and then gave it a go. okay fourth question is uh um I don't know how to answer it, but it's quite interesting because as a photographer, I've done this before. Right. Right. Okay. I'm intrigued. Have you posed nude for photos? <laughs> no. <It's, laughs> uh, the answer, I yeah, I was wondering if that question was going to come up <laughs> because of some of the comments that we've had. Um, yep. No, and I don't currently have any plans to. It's just I am more comfortable. I would be more comfortable walking around down Oxford Street in my lingerie than in a private studio with one photographer nude. That's just, that's my yeah, preference. It's very and personal that is thing, just, yeah. yeah, and mm -hmm. it's, I, I've got nothing against people who do it. I think some art new, art new nude models are like, there's some incredible photos yeah. out there and there's some incredible people and they're so brave, like on the ice mountains in Iceland, oh, volcanoes yes. in Iceland yes. or wherever it is. And they're amazing and I, I would love to do it. It's just not me. Yep. It's not what I want to do. Um, and that's that's that really. Final question. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, that's an easy one. No, okay. no, we we okay. got a difficult one out of the way now. Okay, right. Okay, this is that. Uh, this is interesting. Okay, how do you keep your beauty? Um. <laughs> well, it's very broad questions, isn't it? That one. It's a bit difficult because obviously beauty is quite a um, personal thing, and what one person thinks is beautiful, another doesn't, and you never think that you yourself. You, you don't see yourself the way other people see you, so um, genetics. I got it from my mama. Uh, Thanks to mum and dad. Yeah, so you know, a lot of it is to do with genetics. Um, I'm very lucky we've got quite good, well, I've got quite oily skin actually. I suffer with acne, I and I am currently actually on medication for that. So, really? in case anybody didn't know, uh, yeah, my, I actually am on medication for acne because it got really bad. Wow, okay. So I'm, that's why my skin is really clear now. Mm. Um, and I'm wearing less makeup than I normally would because so I don't need to wear. you still look as beautiful as ever. Um, yeah, it didn't, I, I wasn't, it just made me a little bit self-conscious because it was just quite red. Um, but yeah, I don't really, I sleep as much as I can. I don't drink that much. 
Um, I try not to eat too much bad food, but I also don't stress if I do. So over Christmas, if you, if, you, if any of you were watching my vlog, I there was a bit where I said I've eaten all the crisps and chocolate, and I have absolutely no regrets, and I don't because. I had the best time eating yep. all that food over Christmas. You know That's what? what it's for. Exactly. I mean, so, I think Christmas is all about letting go. I mean, I, I don't mind for you know, for seriously, for the whole year. You work so hard for, for the whole year. Yeah. For that two weeks, seriously, so let's just enjoy yourself. For, you know, for once, you know, just have your head, eat as much as you want, whatever you want, you know, just have fun. Well, I try to do it every day. So I, I, <laughs> I just see. I try to just make sure that I'm not eating too many. I don't like calorie counting, but it's just I don't. If I know I'm having like a big. Yeah. McDonald's. Oh, um, I love McDonald's. I will then obviously just drink a lot of water and try and just eat like fruit and veg for the rest of the day yeah. because I don't want to completely overeat that day. Yeah. Um, and I'll try and like walk everywhere to like burn it off. It's Come not on. like a magic thing, like in and out like that. But yeah, I just um, just try and balance life. Really. She's so good at it, you know, like, no. look, at, look at her. No, <laughs> Just I, try. Well, we've done all the questions. Thank you guys for sending yeah, all this question nice. out. If you, want nice to, if you want to learn more about Charlie, she, of course she's got a channel, and also she's got her Instagram. Follow her, remember to see all her beautiful posts. <laughs> and um, uh, yeah, thank you for coming. Okay. And uh, we're still in this lovely place, and uh, we had lovely coffee in that, what was that place called? Gentleman Baristas. Perfect top coffee. So we tried the Fez hat. Yeah. What was the last one we had? The deer stalker, which oh. I actually recognised, didn't I? Yes. I was like, oh, oh, what is this? And then he said deer stalker, and I was like, because I have it at home, um, but it never tastes quite as good at home as it does. But that, um, Man Man Manuel. Manuel. Seriously. Yes. If you are in here, ask for Manuel mm -hmm. to showcase his skills. Yeah, he's amazing. He was doing this. Uh, what do you call it? Is it coffee crafting or what do you call um, it? Um, la latte, milk art, latte art, latte art. Latte art. I well, think is the official. You guys know the technical term. Hashtag latte yeah, art. Yeah, leave, leave down in the comments coffee so we art. we learn. I'm a coffee man, but I don't know what this call. You know about this. Yeah, making things on the foam thing. Thing. Foam, <laughs> foam art. Foam, foam thing. Yeah, you know uh, you foam draw things patterns, on the foam. Milk patterns. I don't know. We could just be here. <laughs> anyway, he's good. He's good. And he has yeah. this little dice. Yeah. So what they do is they have like a little wooden dice with um, all pictures on it, and sometimes the baristas will roll it, and then they have a competition to see who can do that design the best. Um, and I don't really know if they win anything. They should. Yeah. So it's pretty impressive. Free coffee. <laughs> Yeah, imagine. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so yeah, this this building that we're in at the moment is the the, the building. The building center. The building center is an absolute smashing place. It's really cool in here. They got this like a ideal home exhibition thing. Yeah, but it's like a permanent installation. So they've got loads of just like building materials and products and things, and as eco eco friendly and things as they yeah. can be. Yep. Um, They've got conference rooms, they've got like a workspace yeah. separate from the coffee shop. So you could work in the coffee shop if which you is, wanted. Which is amazing, you know, you, you, how often do you find a place with like that like sort dedicated of dedicated workplace. workplace is yeah. quiet. Like, you know, if you go to Starbucks, for instance, it's Although we're super probably noisy. interrupting them now. <laughs> uh, we're, we're about like, we're, we're a bit further we're away. We're about further away, they can't hear us. Um, also, the building's designed really well for sound as well, isn't it? Yeah, so yeah, like yeah. in the coffee shop, they've got, um, what are they called? Uh, acoustic, they're, they're, panels. They're acoustic panels, yes. So it's to stop the echoing. Seriously, you cannot tell they're acoustic panels because they actually no, they yeah. actually design a uh, pattern, you know, like kind of sculpt, like sculpted 3D, thing, yeah. 3D so it panels. looks like a proper art piece, but they're actually acoustic panels. Yeah, very cool. And they have that in the kitchens, all just kind of weird, yeah. weird. But then, uh, but it makes sense. They said they don't want it, you know, all the kitchen noise going to like yeah. coming out from the kitchen all the way down to the hall and then affecting customer when they're talking and things like that. I think it's actually it, it's effective, actually. Like yeah. we thought it was going to be really loud, so like oh it's full, but actually it's loud in terms of you can hear there's people there, but it's not no like how it normally would be where you have to like shout. <laughs> I know, I know. So it's pretty cool. So we definitely enjoy today, mm -hmm. and thank you for coming out. You know, okay. it's really really nice and so lovely to see you. It's quite out. nice to have done a little like relaxed yeah. kind of relax. Yeah, I'm not having to pose. I'll give you some poses now, guys. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's so pro, you see, like this is, this is her princess princess look. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, I hope you enjoyed that. Yeah, modeling well, 101. Well, remember, remember, oh yeah, modeling 101. Remember our new series, Photography 101. We've got a modeling 101 here. Oh god. Yes, oh, yes. I've just dropped myself right here, haven't I? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so thank you, and hopefully, you enjoyed this episode and knowing a little bit more about Charlie. And this is at your request, so uh, yeah. 
and I hope you guys are satisfied. I know I can't answer all the questions you guys sent in and uh, only pick five. So if you do have any more, well, you are welcome to follow Charlie on her social medias, you know, and then, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm happy to answer questions and maybe we'll do, maybe we'll do it again. We'll do it again. Yeah, but yeah, I can do it on my other one so you don't have to bombard Jimmy all the time. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so thank you and uh, remember subscribe to us and subscribe her, you know, like we're going to put all the, uh, her links down in the description as well. And uh, so this will end our vlog. We enjoy very much today and now I have to end my day as well. I'm going to like have a long journey back home in the rainy weather. Uh, yeah, it was quite nice actually when I first met you. Yeah, yeah it, was. it was. It was kind of nice. Well, it was grey, but it was dry. It was mild. Mild, dry. mild. That's the word. Mm. Mild. This is our typical English weather, by the way. Yeah, not Can like. Oh no, I yeah. Oh, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Oh shit! Oh, I can't do that. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm doing it. What? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>